Well, hey, Scrappers. Mike here. Welcome back to my channel. And this is just going to be a quick update. You guys seem to really like that tin recovery video I did a little while ago. Well, what I'm doing in here right now, just to give you a little bit of an update, is I am cooking a bunch of tin oxide that I recovered from the solder on PC boards, okay? And what I'm doing is I'm just cooking off the volatiles in it. Uh, there were, um, you know, I captured it on filters and the stuff was all stuck to the filters and the filters were all clogged with tin oxide. So I just stuffed four or five filters full of tin oxide in this crucible in there and I'm just cooking the volatiles off of it, the paper, whatnot. Some of this stuff I used ammonia to adjust the pH on it, so there's some ammonium chloride cooking off. I'm staying up wind of that. But uh, in the end, we should have some pretty pure tin oxide in this crucible, which I can use for hopefully reducing back to tin metal in a future video. And over here, I've got uh, yet more little circuit boards in a 50-50 mix of muriatic acid and water and we're starting to strip the tin off of them so I can get even more tin oxide because I'm going to need a fair amount for the experiments I want to conduct. It's going to take me a while, maybe a couple more weeks to accumulate it all. But uh, let me show you how much I've got so far. Uh, the stuff that was in the foundry furnace has cooled down enough that I've got it out. So here's the oxide I've got so far, just out of the uh, foundry furnace after it cooled down. Not quite a hundred grams, so I'm going to accumulate this a little more until I have enough to test a couple of different methods of reducing this back to tin metal. So watch for that video in the hopefully not too distant future. So anyway, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching this uh, brief update. Bye.